Now moving to the hardwood for the first of two times tonight in first men's basketball, Mr. DeTerry Mays. Let's give a big round of applause. Murray State men's basketball has been known as the greatest tradition in the Ohio Valley Conference for many years, and one of the players responsible for just that is DT. He left the races having having the best two-year career of any player at Murray State University. Mays displayed a rare combination of talent and energy as he led the races to a pair of Ohio Valley Conference regular season and tournament championships. Racers made back-to-back -back NCAA tournament appearances, and in the 1997-1998 season, they had a program record at the time, 29 wins, and a top 25 ranking nationally for the first time in 26 years. Mays was named the OVC Player of the Year and Mel Athlete of the Year. Until Jonathan Stark topped in 2018, Mays' two-year scoring record of 1,000 340 points stood for 20 years, and his 21.26 points per game scoring average is still tops all time at Murray State University. As a professional, Mays had a 14-year career in Austria with the Union Swans and Captainburg Bulls, where he was named the Player of the Year five different times between 2003 and 2010, and a league all-star 11 times. But the biggest prize he brought home was his wife, Claudia. Once again, a big round of applause, Mr. D.T. Mays. And keep it going because his inducted tonight is his good friend, Mr. Greg Harris. I have just a minute with only 60 seconds in it forced upon me. I can't refuse it, did not choose it, but it's up to me to use it. I will suffer if I lose it, give account if I misuse it or abuse it. It's definitely within it, with infinite in it. It gives me great joy and a privilege and an honor to introduce the young man who I used to babysit, change his diaper, <laughs> Deterry Jabbar Mays. First thing, thank you to uh, Athletic Director Saul. Glad you gave me that call five months ago. Uh, to Dave Winder. Where you at, Dave? I know I drove you crazy the last couple weeks, but uh, I apologize. Uh, you made it happen. Uh, no matter the occasion, whether it's the Hall of Fame, whether it's coming back for a wedding, or showing my last respect to the great Mr. Racer Gerald Sue, it's always great being back on campus. To Greg Harris, thank you for the nice presentation. When I found out from Athletic Director Saul, you were my first and only choice. Thank you. <laughs> to my family, we showed out. <laughs> Mary State, let me introduce you to my family. At the table right here, I got my uncle. Uncle Arthur. I was broke at Murray State. Every time I made that call to him, he came through. <laughs> and let me just tell you, it doesn't matter if he stay in enemy, enemy territory. That's Clark Lizzie. I can promise you he'll race for life. I got all my aunties, RP to my Aunt Lizzie. Um, I have my brother at the table. Um, he's a physique, a physique model. He haven't lost a competition in so long. And his wife is sitting next to him, and she's his biggest supporter. Um, at the back table back there, I got my big son, Chris. He's back there. Um, I got my first cousin, Laconda, and her husband, Chris Watson. If you guys ever uh, go through Jacksonville, Arkansas, or see little kids running around, Boys and Girl Club, think about her because she makes it happen. I got... Uh, 
My first cousin back there, Shanika, her husband, Trayman. And our family, guys, check this. She's the John Moran of our family. <laughs> you know what that means. I don't need to say no more. This table right here, I got my two crazy cool cousins, Jen and Jackie. Also down from the table from them, I got my cousin Tori and his wife, Kendra, Tori Harris. Um, when his school does the right thing, he has an outstanding collegiate career. When his school does the right thing, that will bring his family again together for a Hall of Fame. So one day he will get in his um, college Hall of Fame. And his wife, we talked earlier, she just, one degree don't do enough, two degrees is not enough, three. She'll be a doctor here soon. Last but not least, I got my cousin. Um, I got Goody. He's a man of all season. He makes things happen. He can do it all. Last but not least, I got my cousin Hoomp. His name is Kedrick. Whenever I need this guy, he always come through for me. So um, all I have to do is just give him a call, and he always come through. To my wife, uh, thank you for keeping our family together. Um, I appreciate you for that. Um, I told you when we got married seven years ago that I wasn't going to be a perfect husband. I think I proved that to you. <laughs> but my goal, my only goal is to be a trying husband and I hope that I'm trying enough for you. To my kids, Chris, Sam Ray, Malia, even though you guys do half of the things I say. <laughs> just the sound of your breath is what motivates me every day to go out and do what I do every day to provide for you guys. To my mom. Mercy, said my mom, all, my mom was always proud of me, no matter what. My mom was always proud of me growing up as a little kid. She, she was always proud of me. Um, you see Murray State, um, I've gotten a chance to listen to the other inductees and they've done well in their sport from day one all the way up. But with me with basketball, I never played a single minute in high school basketball. <laughs> never. Um, I was too cool for school, didn't go to school. When I went to school, I was getting suspended. <laughs> but mom continued to be proud. She always believed in me. She never gave up on me. Um, so going, going on and on, I just wanted to do something to make her proud, but I never could get it right. I never could get it right. And so if you look at all my family members that I just talked about earlier, everyone graduated from the same high school. Well, I went to that high school too, but I wasn't going to graduate from that high school. <laughs> so for the first time in family history, I had to transfer out of this school just to, you know, possibly, hopefully, finish high school. Um, but to make my mom proud, I had to do what I had to do. I went to summer school every year from seventh grade to twelfth grade. And I don't know Kentucky, but uh, back then you had to pay. And I half the time went to summer school then. But, uh, I eventually graduated, and the one thing that I really wanted to do was to give my mom that diploma because technically she paid for it. <laughs> so she got that diploma, I gave it to her, and that was the first time I think I ever, well my mom was always proud of me, but that's the first time I ever felt like I made her proud. I gave it to her, and I thought that was it. But the words she told me, she said, you're not done yet, son, you're not done yet. Didn't know what it mean, meant, but uh, she said she's not done yet. So Murray State, I need for you guys to help me here. When I say the name Greg Harris, I need everybody as loud as you can. And we're going to do a two-banger, so we're going to practice first. So Greg Harris, I need everybody to two-banger. That wasn't good. Greg Harris. All right. So I graduated from high school, finally, 
And RP to my Uncle Bobo, he, um, I had to figure out something to do. So Uncle Bobo, he introduced me to sports. He took me to my first college basketball game. He also got me my first job. So I started going to this job. It was an automotive job. And they had these boards that circled around. And my job was to put caps on these, on the wires. So I was going to work every day, going to work every day. And all of a sudden, after a couple of days, my hands started to blister up. Like my family know me, the only thing I ever did in my life at that time was dribble a basketball. So my hands wasn't used to the wear and tear of, 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 of these wires, so I would blister up all the time. So my mom said, what you gonna do? So I told my mom, she said, what you gonna do? You can't quit, you really got no other options. There are no recruiters coming, you didn't play basketball, you have to stay at this job. And so in my family, we have a family house. So my mom, I told my mom, we have a family house. This how, this how we probably started the internet, my family. So <laughs> it started at my mom. I guess my mom told the family house, and once it hits the family house, everybody gonna know. <laughs> so we're gonna try this again. Here we go, Greg Harris. It got to Greg Harris. I was going to this job every day, like I said, and I don't know how he did it, what he did, or how. You see, Greg was always, I always watched him. He was the go-getter of the family. He was one to always make things happen. And um, I kind of sort of always wanted to be like him or pattern myself after him. So, like I said, I don't know what he did or how he did it. But he told me, he said, you're not going to that job tomorrow. You're going to get you a pair of shorts and a pair of tennis shoes, and we're going to go to Wallace State College, and you're going to try out for this basketball team. So we went up. The trip was quiet. I didn't know what I was getting into. The only thing I can remember Greg telling me is, we're going to tell the coach we're from Florida to make it seem like we came from way, way, way far. <laughs> so we get there. We play. We play, we play from the, uh, the players from the previous season, so I get there, I play, I play. I think I'm playing good. I go check in with Greg every, I check in with Greg after every game, ask him how I'm doing. He said, man, you ain't doing nothing. You need to come on. Turn my ankle a little bit. I tell him, he said, come on now, come on. So at the end of the, the session, I guess the coach had already spoke to a couple of the players. He ended up speaking to Greg, and then he spoke to me in the end. And the best thing out of this meeting that I thought would come with, he would be like, okay, we'll see what, and we'll get back with you. But that coach had one scholarship left, and he told me, I want to keep it. This scholarship is so bad, but my players like you, I like you, and I'm going to sign you today. I signed my name on the dollar line. We head back to 65. I don't know what I just did. <laughs> So, luckily, Jonathan Stars didn't go to that school because I'm still at school all the time leading score. <laughs> so, it's time to, um, so doing my, um, that's a two year school, so now it's time for Murray State. At my time between Murray State and North Texas, my mom asked me, I think a couple of days before, where school you going to, son? I said, Mom, I'm going to North Texas. She said, Why? I said, first and foremost, it's in Dallas. It's in the suburb of Dallas. And Coach McMahon, if you ain't here, Coach McMahon should know. North Texas is right here. And across the street, they got a 20,000 20, student enrollment of all women university. <laughs> so I was going to North Texas. <laughs> but Coach Godfrey had got to my mom a little earlier. And they had already made my path for me to come to here to Murray State. What a decision they made. I'm so happy that they made that decision. And um, there's a lot of memories here. Um, there's some individual awards. There are a lot of team awards. And I had a special time here. But my greatest achievement here on this campus was being the future family. That's Barry, Janet, Courtney, and Whitney. Courtney was like a sister to me. She was my sister, not like a sister, she is my sister. 
and she was seven to eight years old at the time, and we fussed and we had our fights, but uh, I always made a point to make her gymnastics practices, her soccer matches, her soccer matches, and everything. And so that's what we did, and Whitney, we had a good time also. Um, I knew it was, I knew I was in the family because I didn't spend too much time around Whitney, but you could tell that the family talked about me all the time to her. So when I saw Whitney, she all, we can have a conversation, she knew about DT. So you got Barry. I did pretty good at Murray. But if I ever got too big for my britches, Barry would put me back in the right place. <laughs> so Barry would father me so good when I was here that um, when I did mess up with the coaches, they would never tell Coach Godfrey, the three of them telling Barry would get me going back in the right direction. <laughs> Murray State, you got Janet Future. Without you, Janet, I wouldn't be here today. You're so special. You open your home to me when I need to get away from the campus and rest. You trusted me around your daughters. You gave me a place to worship. I'm so grateful for you. Thank you to you and your family for all what you did for me. I appreciate you guys so much. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Greg Harris. Greg Harris. I'm going to close by saying this. Courtney, can you please come to the stage with me? So, Coach Man, the tennis coaches, uh, all the coaches that are here during my career, I never lost at Murray State, never lost at home. Um, I, I spoke to this young lady earlier. She said the same thing. I've never seen you lost a game at home. It was a seven-year-old girl. I don't know. We all have routines. We all do stuff before. I know my wife, when she gets up, she go work out every day. And I don't know what you guys do. But when this girl was seven years old, we did this thing every time before a game. It was 20 years ago. I'm not sure if we're <laughs> going to remember it. But we're going to do it one last time. We're going to make up something. And this is going to be my entry into the Hall of Fame. Thank you, guys. <laughs>